Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2021, Paper 1. This is the solution video to question 2. Question two, 2 is just an algebra question, and I think it's actually probably one of the easiest algebra questions um, I've seen on a Leaving Cert Higher Level paper. So hopefully you did it, and hopefully you were able to do it right. Uh, given that x equal to minus 3 is a solution to the absolute value of x plus p equal to 5, find the two values of p, where p is a element of z, the integers. So instead of uh, p, or sorry, instead of x, so we have the absolute value of x plus p is equal to uh, 5. We're just going to sub in minus 3 instead of x, so the absolute value of minus 3 plus p is equal to 5. And then to solve a modulus equation, you could square both sides, or you could just say minus 3 plus p is equal to 5 and minus 3 plus p is equal to minus 5. So let it equal to plus and minus the other side. p is equal to 5 plus 3. So p is equal to 8. That's one solution. And p is equal to minus 5 plus 3. So p is equal to minus 2. So p is equal to 8 and p is equal to minus 2. You can double check it if you want. Uh, you'd have minus 3 plus 8 is 5 and 5 is equal to 5. You'd have minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. Absolute value of that is plus 5. That's equal to 5. So very simple question for a higher level paper. And likewise with part B, x plus 4 is a factor of this equation here, a cubic uh, function here. We've got a q there instead of uh, or as a coefficient of the x squared. Show that q is equal to minus 5 and find the three roots. So the way I do this is I'm just going to do long division of x plus 4 into this when I sub in q is equal to minus 5. And that will show that q is uh, equal to minus 5 because the long division will work out properly, work out as a zero remainder. And then my first root is x equal to minus 4. I'll get a quadratic on top and I'll be able to find my other two roots then. So what I'm going to do is x plus 4 and I'm going to divide it into x cubed minus 5x squared minus 22x plus 56. So x into x cubed is x squared. Multiply down x by x is uh, x cubed plus 4x squared change the signs there they cancel minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9 x squared bring down the minus 22 x divide in again x into minus 9 x squared is minus 9 x multiply down minus 9 x by x is minus 9 x squared minus 9 x by 4 then this time will be uh, minus or minus rather minus 36 x and change the signs on both of them they cancel uh, 36 x minus 22 x is 14 x and bring down to 56 so plus 56 x into 14 x goes plus 14 times uh, multiply down 14 by x is 14 x and 14 by 4 is plus 56 change the signs, they cancel, they cancel, you get zero as a remainder. So that means that q is equal to minus five. So I'd say that at this point, I'd say therefore q is equal to minus five. And I'd also say therefore x equal to minus four is a root. So we have shown the first part, q is equal to minus five. We've also shown that minus 4 is a root and now I can just factorize this here to get the other two roots so x squared what is it minus 9x plus 14 and a simple little quadratic for me to solve there so uh, that's equal to 0 factor the x by x and then factors of 14 that add together to give you minus 9 That'll be minus 7 by minus 2, minus 7 by minus 2. Multiply them together, you get 14. Add them together, you get minus 9. So x is equal to 7, x is equal to 2. So my three roots are minus 4, 2, 
and 7. So, um, 30 marks for that. Very easy 30 marks. And I think a lot of students would have gotten uh, a lot of marks on that. But um, I would say that if you didn't get it, you, you'd probably be losing quite a few marks um, on it. So, uh, hopefully you did okay in that. If there's any questions, just ask in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.